In the carny business, they call them racket games. They can be rigged so that you can't win. And even sometimes when you do win, the carny guys say you didn't win. That, oh, you can't hit the rim, man. Yo, you get it over there. You can't hit the rim. Spin it, now. That's a good one. You can't hit the rim. Here, don't hit the rim. Spin it in. Don't you can't hit the rim. Hit it wrong. Twist it. You want to go hit the last card? You got to hit the inside? Yeah. Uh, oh, man, you almost had that time. Who's next now? We filmed most of the suspected rigged games on our first pass down the midway. Then we confronted fair board officials and asked them why such games were allowed. If we, if we, if you we play get it? any complaints, we're going we're gonna we're to do something about it. We're if you got a complaint... And we, I have, we have a couple of couples out here that've been. Well, get them up here. Bring them up here now. I'll get them up from the fair commission. Bring them right up here before me and him both. No, we'll. I've been coming here for 21 years. I live in DeKalb County, Decatur, Georgia. He lives right here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We never had no complaint on this right here. You make a complaint. As we were leaving the county fair, my camera crew was roughed up and we were threatened. But fair officials said the suspected games would be removed. And in fact, even before the games were ever inspected. The carnival people had packed them up and moved them out. Tonight on Action News at 6, I'll show you some of the rigged games and tell you how they work. This is Wes Sargentson. No, you try it. No, you try it. Real easy. That's the way. That's the way you do it. Give me 50 cents now. Let me try it again. The game agent took the little boy for a dollar and a half after first showing him the ball would stay in the basket. And it will if another ball is already there, or you hit the red rim first. Rim shots are not allowed. On this swinger game, the people playing are TV2 employees. They can't do what the operator of the game is doing because when they shoot, the pin is dead center in the angle. When he shoots, it's offset the width of a little finger. Now you've all seen this next trick. It's called a build-up or a pyramid system. Even if you are skilled, the little dog you win the first time you make the basket is worth only 20 cents. You paid a half dollar for it. All you have to do is give me 50 cents. You look like a basketball player. You got on your shot. All right, yeah, and you didn't got your shot. You didn't got two shots. You didn't both get number one, but you got two, right? I paid for one, you paid for one, right? Okay, okay. All right, you give me 50 cents. This time, I'm going to pay for one. If you make every basket on the way up to the biggest teddy bear, you've still spent more than the bear is worth. There are other games that will take you for even more money. After we got there last night and started nosing around, the scissor bucket operator packed up his gear and left. The swinger games were all shut down. I asked fair official Carvis Williams what percent of the take the fair committee was getting. Does the, uh, does the fair board cut with the take, or, I mean, how, how's the split work with the games? Um... I'd rather just, we just discuss this with the board. It's a, it's a Senate. We, uh, they pay us so much for the, we rent them the space. Uh-huh. Right. Well, have you investigated any of these games? A lot of them are, are considered racket games in the business. Uh, we try to run a clean show. We just got to set up here tonight. We haven't had a chance to really get in here and check them out. If, if there's anything going on, 